this is again another problem of camp and problem is still like this the two gears will mesh externally and are to give a velocity ratio of 3 to 1 the teeth are of involute form module is equal to 6 mm or dendum is equal to one module pressure angle is 20 degree the pinion rotates at 90 rpm then we have to determine first the number of teeth on pinion to avoid interference on it and corresponding number of teeth on wheel also <coughs> second the length of path of path and arc of contact and third the number of pair of teeth in contact and four maximum velocity of slide so first given things are velocity ratio g is capital t by t capital t is number of teeth on big gear and small t number of teeth on small gear so it is given module m is 6 mm and it according to question undendum is one module so ap equals aw is one module which is 6 mm and phi is 20 degree this is 20 degree not 200 this is 20 degree you can change it this is 20 degree This is 20 degree and n is 90 rpm and from that you can calculate the omega 2 by n by 60 and this degree. So first we calculate the number of teeth on pinion to guide the interference on it and corresponding number of teeth on wheel also. So number of teeth on pinion to avoid interference we have the formula we have derived this formula to AP by this much. And we have all the value a p g phi. So we can calculate this from this and it becomes 18.2 and roughly you can say it is 19 in round figure because so uh, teeth cannot be in decimals. Similarly, corresponding number of teeth on wheel, we, as we know, g is equal to capital T by a small t, so capital T can be calculated from this formula and this becomes 57 a length of path of contact for length of path of contact we have to find the pitch circle uh, radius of so pitch circle for pitch circle opinion radius is mt by 2 and from that you can calculate pitch circle radius opinion is 57 mm and radius of addendum circle opinion will be equal to radius of addendum circle which is equal to sum of the p circle plus height of addendum so this is a small r plus a p and this become this now p circle radius of wheel similarly by using this formula it is mt by 2 and this becomes 171 mm so now we can calculate the radius of ordinary circle of wheel. So capital R is just R plus A W and this is this much. Now we have to calculate then path of approach and path of reset and path of approach that is KP. And for KP we have the formula this. I am substituting all value we can get. Substituting all the value we can get this value. Again, we have to calculate the path of precess and we have the formula for path of precess and substituting the values we get this much so length of path of contact will be uh, equal to kl this is the length of path of contact which is uh, sum of kp plus pl and add uh, putting these two values we can get this and this is the answer and length of arc of contact is length of path of contact divided by cos pi i will know all these values so we can get the value of length of arc of contact now number of teeth on teeth in contact number of pair of teeth in contact 
So number of teeth in uh, pair in contact will have the formula. The formula is length of arc of contact divided by PC. So first find the PC. Find the PC. And PC, as you know, PC is pi m. So we can get the value of PC and we have already calculated the length of arc of contact. So we can get the pair of uh, teeth in contact. This is 1.6 and um, it can um, it ca cannot be in one decimal, so we can uh, take the maximum rounded value it will be two. Now maximum velocity of sliding. So maximum velocity of sliding, we have the formula for maximum velocity of sliding is omega one plus omega two into kp, and we have already the value of kp and omega one. So we have to find the value of omega 2 and we, we know that omega 1 by omega 2 is equal to t by capital T by small t so from that we can get the value of omega 2 and this comes to be 3.14 radian per second so putting substituting this value in this equation we can get the maximum sliding in velocity of this material and this is the answer thank you